Hello there, everyone. It is me again. Okay, so we're now down to decorating up the journal pages. So I'm only going to show a few things because really now it's about you using your imagination um, because obviously I don't know what you're going to use your journal for. So you need to decorate it up as best suits you. I'm going to show you a couple of things um, and I have lots of other videos so if you have a look up in the playlist at the top uh, there is in the playlist a set of videos that are all joined together which is called the 30 day challenge and there's lots and lots of different ideas in there I do have other tutorials up there as well which might give you some inspiration of how you can go about using up your scrap bits of paper okay so I've sorted my papers out into two piles so these are all the the bigger bits that are left and then I've got a pouch here of all the tiny little bits that I've got left over and then these are the strips all right so I'm just going to put those over to the side I just wanted to show you how I'd sorted them out so come on girls over there thank you now then, as I said previously, the nice thing now is that you can take these pages actually out of the journal by unclipping the rings and then it decorating each individual page. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can still do it whilst it's in the journal itself. Now then, one of the things that I'm going to do is this. I don't know if you remember, but I think it was in the first or the second video, I had a piece of this vellum. Uh, spare and I said oh I know what I'm going to do with that and I put it to one side so what I've actually done is I've used a scallop die and I've punched this scallop out so this pocket here which is the vertical pocket so that there's a, a pocket there I'm actually going to put this on as a little flap all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half so and I'm going to fold it so that, can you see here, I've got like a full scallop edge there, rather than it being halfway, I've actually done it as a full scallop edge, so that it just makes it a nice, neater finish on the edges. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place glue on the back of here and glue that to the back of the pocket. But I'm going to leave the flap, that fold line, slightly higher than the top edge of the pocket. All right. So let's get some glue on there. And I'm just using my Tombow glue. And then... I'm going to sit that directly on the back. Put it along a little. Just push that glue about. Use my bone folder to just squidge the glue about a bit. So that what I now have is I've now got a little flap for the top of my pocket and then I can slot some journaling cards inside of there. All right, so that's the first thing that I was going to do. Now the second thing that I wanted to do was a couple of belly bands. So in which case then I would use up my strips. And I was looking at this one here which is off one of the edges of the paper now I did look at it on the dark green and I quite liked it I did think about putting it on there but it's a bit too clashy and I did think about putting it on the pale green but it looks a little bit washed out so I could put it on there but it's all a bit samey. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put it on the dark green, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold up a little lip at the bottom, round about quarter of an inch-ish, 
I'm a very ish kind of measurement girl. <laughs> and then I'm just going to pull that back down and I'm just going to taper off the corners of that little flap that I've just created because it will sit a lot neater on my page if I've tapered those corners off. Okay, so I now need to measure how much higher I want it to be. All right, let me just spin this round so that I can see it a bit better. And I'm gonna do it to about there. So if I fold that over, And line it up use your bone folder Carol I'm terrible at not using my bone folder I use my nails too much okay and then I'm just going to clip off that edge so I've now got a flap top and bottom but again I just want to taper off that caught those corners and then I'm going to place glue on the back of those flaps now the reason why I do this is that if you just put glue directly at the top and bottom of your belly band you're kind of restricting what size of card you can actually insert underneath it also helps to create a little bit of a space between the page and the belly band itself so put it the right way around so that will now sit top and bottom there and I've now got the full length of the belly band because of those little flaps to be able to insert journaling cards. And I can insert more than one because I've created that little bit of depth because of those flaps. So I've now got a little bit of space between those two, okay? The next thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to do a double belly band, but I wanted to use these laser cut pieces or do I no I don't I'm going to use those on a pocket I think okay so let's have a look at a double belly band maybe using these two because that on top of there just frames that nicely so let's just have a ooh, that might be quite nice Hmm, hold that one. So if I put that there, in fact, have I got a slightly thinner bit? No. Is that the right length? Oh, just so happens it is. What I'm just going to do is just off to the side, I'm just going to cut it a little bit narrower. So I'm going to do this one flat. Just turn it round. So whereas the other belly band had got a lip, in fact, let's have a look at it the other side. Do I like that more? Or do I like that more? I like the green more. So yeah, so with the other belly band where we've got those little flaps that created a bit more space, I'm just going to do this one flat. So I'm just measuring it top and bottom. Okay, let's just check I've got that right. Yep, that'll do me fine. And then I'm going to sit this flat on top of there. So I just need to trim that down because that's a little bit too long. Flip it over. Okay. 
So I'm going to put, where have I put my glue? There. I'm just going to attach a thin line of glue at the top and at the bottom. And the nice thing about this Tombow glue is it's quite strong. So I'm quite confident of the fact that it's going to hold it in place. And then I'm going to flip that over and put glue top and bottom of there. sit there now then as I say I've made this as a double belly band I'll demonstrate with this so basically you can pop something underneath the main belly band itself but you can also pop a little something underneath that second belly band so you've got two tuck spots there Okay, the next one I want to do is a pocket. So let's choose a page to do a pocket on. Maybe on that one. So I'm just going to put these to one side for a moment because I want my bigger pieces out now. Let's see what I've got here. Oh, so I'm kind of limited to green, green or green. <laughs> now I think if I add a pocket at the bottom down there, or do I want a corner one? I think it might be quite nice to do a corner one. So, let's get my pencil. So I'm just going to draw a line across there. I'm just going to take this off to the side and cut it. sit down there. Now what I could do now is let's just have a look at these little laser details. Oh look at that look that piece was made for it. And then I can stick that on there. Do I want that one? It's overhanging the edges a bit. Mm. So you've got to think of the practicalities of it all as well. So in fact, this little one might be quite nice on it. Yep, yeah. right. So with this one, I'm just going to place glue down the two straight edges, not the angled edge. sit there Let's pull this little piece off and I'm not going to stick this on now because I've actually put my fine my fine tip glue away but what I will do is I've measured it And that will glue on there. So that will look quite pretty, won't it? So what I'll do is I'll just put that in that pocket to keep it safe. And then once I've finished filming, I can glue that on. But that's that pocket done. Now the other thing, of course, that you can do is some stamping in it. And I'm loving my butterflies at the moment. And so... 
I can use my butterfly garlic to actually stamp up some of the pages. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this butterfly here. Now then, what I like to do is I don't always like to have black because I think that sometimes the black just looks a little bit too stark. And so I like to use a fairly dark grey. So I use the basic grey for stamping images like this onto pages because, as I say, I just feel that if I did this in black, it would just be too stark. Oh, I found a new way of opening these as well. Apparently, if you push them down there, is it going to do it? Yeah. If you push it there, it lifts it up. Look. Which is a little bit easier than trying to pull it out. Okay. Now, as you all know, I am not the best stamper in the world. And I still have a fair bit of practice to do with this. Okay. just want to make sure I've got that little one because I don't think I've got it. There we go. just want to make sure I've got it all. Yeah. Okay, cross fingers that I don't mess this up. So I'm going to do both of them. I need to get me that stamparatus. There we go. That pretty. Love it. So I could go along and I could do some stamping on some of the pages. Now the other thing I thought of for the butterflies again, and I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to do it on, should I do it on that page? No. Actually I could put one on the centre there. Hmm, maybe that one. Oh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's do it on that one. Because what I thought about was just punching out some of the bigger butterflies only. Although I'm going to punch the little ones out and then I can use those for a different project. Or I could use them in this, I suppose. Let's find a space where I can get a whole butterfly in. Ooh, I've run out of card. Oh, maybe I can't get any more out. No. Is that too small? I think that's too small, isn't it? Ooh. No, too small. Okay, change of plan. See, best laid plans of mice and men. Okay, let's do this one. There we go. Actually, they're quite pretty. I'm glad I've changed it now. I want four, I think. I like cutting butterflies out of um, patterned paper like this. So I just think that the colours can end up looking absolutely amazing. Okay, let's have a look at that and see how we're going. So maybe not this page at all. Look through again. Yeah, maybe this one. So what I'm thinking of is placing four of the butterflies down the edge of the page like this. And then gluing those in place. And then I will take this page out and I'll actually run my sewing machine right the way down there so if i just glue them in place for now so that you can get a bit of an idea 
and of course you can ink up all the edges of of these as well to just make them stand out a little bit more So that's quite pretty isn't it and then as I say I will then go and just run my sewing machine move them up just a touch if it'll come come on just run my sewing machine down the center and if I do it with a zigzag then it means I'll have a nice zigzag stitch line on that side okay now, the other thing that I've got is just on some sheets of our vellum paper is I've printed out some uh, sayings. And so I thought about cutting some of these out. There we go. Simplicity is the Ultimate Sophistication by Leonardo da Vinci. So let's have a, a bit of him on. but it prints up really nicely on the vellum paper. And the other thing that I thought about doing was, again, with my little strips, and in fact, What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of little banners so I can have it as a banner tuck. So I'm just cutting off a little strip like that, doing it up the centre and then from each of the corners to the centre. So that I have got a little banner and then if I do a second one slightly shorter oops and do I want that one that way round and then that one that way yeah like that up to the centre again from the corner to the centre And then on this one, I'll glue a down one long edge and then across the top. And then I can glue that one into position. And then with this one, glue down one long edge again and across the top. And line the two top pieces up but have them so that they're overlapping each other and then oops come on I'm just going to put a little dot of glue at each end of my little vellum saying And then I could put a little gemstone on each end where I've put that glue so that if it does happen to show through at least that little gemstone is just covering that little bit of glue up bring it in a bit closer for you to see Okay, one more type of pocket. I'm not to do a, a bottom one. Okay, let's have a look at the pages again, what we got. Okay. 
to be one across there. Do I think? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to cut it. What's that? Two and a half, three inches deep. so that I've got because I've got this border here I want to have a bit of a border on the other side to kind of balance it out so that will sit there so I'm going to glue this around three sides that up a bit so I'm just going to try and balance the flowers out at the top so I need to cut through that last petal and I need to cut through that last petal And then I can just place some glue across this top edge on the back. Tiny bit there. Leave a little bit of a border at the top. Then I could use one of my big flutter buys. Mm, I think I want, I want another purple one. Let's do that one there. Let's do a little one on top of it. So I could have that in the centre. Off to the side. Hmm, not sure about that. Now I've done it. Maybe I could have a couple. Top of the page, maybe. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so, last thing. I say so a lot, don't I? So, so this past week, I've been showing you how to make... Um, some different bits and pieces that you can use for gifts and so what I thought was this little booklet would look lovely in this little side pocket so that could fit in there and then I've got the little bookmarks which I thought I could attach to the top of a page Maybe not that one. Ooh, maybe the first one. To the top of the page there. And then with um, a little piece of vellum that I'd got left over, using my envelope punch board, I made this little envelope, put a stamp on it, punched out one of the labels which I thought could go underneath my belly band. So that could go under there. In fact, let's put it that way on. So that could go under there. Now, some of you are going to hate me, <laughs> but if any of you bought the card kit with the little post box is in, I thought that those would look lovely stuck on the inside covers. So one's going to be there and then I'll put one on the back. 
so I'll put the cards in that I've got left over inside of those little post boxes and then this was the little three fold that I thought could be used as well so if I just undo it so that what you could do is if I open it up this back panel here say put in oh it's just fallen out say put in a pocket on the back that could be stuck to a page so let's just say it's going to sit on there so that would sit on there and then these would then close in all right so that then you've got that that you could add to a page as well but really as i say this is now all about you using your imagination and thinking about what you actually want to use your mini journal for so that's the basis of my little mini journal using up your dsp papers so i hope it's encouraged you to sort of have a look through your papers and think about what you could actually do with all your little leftover bits and pieces and then the last thing that i'm going to do um once i've stopped filming is from this little pouch of all these little bits and pieces i'm going to add those to that little stamp pocket but from 10 pages it's actually starting to get together quite thick and i thought that what i could do is with these little post boxes when i stick those on is that i will stick some ribbon behind there like so and i'll do the same on the back and then that will act as my closure when i come to doing it all up what i'll try and do is once i've finished it i'll try and do a flip through video for you to have a look at the completed thing um, as per usual that i will put some basic instructions up on my blog which is crafty emporium design blogspot.com and if you wish to purchase any of these materials before some of them um, are being discontinued in a few days time if you go to the stamping up website and enter my name as your demonstrator if you live in the uk and parts of europe carol tinson that's me done for this i'll try and do a flip through in a few days time and uh, thank you very much for joining me and i hope it's inspired you to have a go thanks very much for watching see you all again soon bye for now